I spent a lot of time looking for, you know, the, the right camp chair for the jungle. And, you know, the thing is this, like, you know, when I used to go off-roading, you know, we'd all take camp chairs like these, and they're brilliant. You know, they're excellent value for money. Very importantly, they've got a great design feature. They've got a little, uh, you know, pocket here for your beer. And, you know, they're great, but they weigh three kilos, and they're incredibly bulky. So, you know, if I'm trekking, there's no way I'm going to, you know, carry this thing around. So, you know, what are the alternatives? Well... You know, there are manufacturers trying to sort of mimic this sort of design, but in lighter materials. Uh, Helenox do, uh, you know, a very good camp chair, uh, you know, which is very comfortable. But, you know, it still weighs, I think, something like 800 grams, you know, and it's quite bulky, uh, you know. So, again, not exactly, you know, what I'm looking for. You know, other things, other designs, things like this tripod design. Uh, again, that weighs about 800 grams. Um, and you know, it, it's actually comfortable to sit on, but the problem with this is there's no back support. And that, in a sense, is my, is my issue. And it may not be an issue for you, but I'm one of those people who has terrible, terrible posture. You know, I can't even sit on a bar stool for more than 20 minutes before my back starts to ache and I sort of crumple down like that. So I like to have some back support. And particularly, you know, after you've been trekking through the jungle, you know, all day, you've been carrying a pack, you know, you want to, you know, have something that gives you a bit of back support. Now, of course, I've got a hammock, so, you know, I could simply get into the hammock, but I don't like to do that because if I get into the hammock, I find it pretty difficult to get out again. So, you know, I, I mean, I really want to have a camp chair. I want to have back support, um, but I don't want to carry anything bulky, you know, or heavy. Now, you know, you'll see people, you know, particularly people who are good at yoga and things, you know, can sit, um, you know, I can, I've seen people, you know, can sit like this. They've got a lovely straight posture and they can sit like that for ages. I can't do it. Here in Asia, you'll see a lot of people sitting in this position so uh, and it's not it's it's not a crouch i'm not on the balls of my feet my whole foot uh, the base of my foot is pressed against the ground and you lean forward and then you kind of balance yourself by keeping your arms out like that yeah i mean that's okay and i've seen people who can sit like this for hours i can do it for a bit i mean it's a useful thing to know how to do um it's a little bit more difficult than it looks um, but you know, it's quite good because you're not actually on the, on the you, none, none of your body is touching the floor apart from the soles of your feet. So yeah, you could simply go without a camp chair, but honestly, I kind of want to take a camp chair in. So if you want to go ultralight, you know, you, you want something lighter than say a Helenox chair and something that isn't as expensive because they're not cheap, those things, you know, here is one option and one that I use, uh, you know, quite a lot and I like it a lot because it is incredibly comfortable. It's like being in a deck chair. And, you know, the idea here is that you're using materials in, you know, from the jungle to effectively make the frame of the chair. And all you need to take in is, is this material, uh, you know, and some ropes. And, you know, that, that, you know, that's it. So it's like amazingly light. In a way, that's both the, the advantage and the disadvantage. Because, you know, for me, I don't like to cut saplings down in, in the forest. So I'm not going to make this out of, you know, saplings because I just don't want to cut them down. If there's bamboo around, fine, it's easy, you know, it'll take you 10 minutes to, you know, set this up, so that's great. But in a, in a sense, that was a problem. I didn't, I wanted something that used, needed less resources uh, in case there wasn't any bamboo around. The other disadvantage that I found with this system is that, you know, if you're camping alone, it's fine because you just set it up you know, near the fire or, or wherever and, and that's where you stay. If you're camping in a group, you know, quite often, you know, you want, to be, you want to be able to move the chair around because, you, want, you know, if it's raining, you want to go and talk to somebody, you're going to go and um, maybe sit over where their tarp is, where their setup is, or you want to go and cook, you want to go by the fire. And it's a bit sort of bulky to move this thing around. So, you know, great if you're solo camping, great if there's bamboo around, you know, otherwise not so good. So this is another option. I, again, this is exactly the same sack chair as before but I've set it up more like a hammock now. And you know, it's again, extremely comfortable. You know, you feel like you're in a deck chair, but it has, uh, you know, its own problems. I mean, one, once you've set it up, you're kind of not gonna to wanna to move it because you know, it's a bit of a pain to move it. Also, I've got these two strings here. So, you know, if I'm getting in and out, you know, it's a bit fiddly because I've got to sort of step over those. Um, but the good thing about this is that instead of needing that, that tripod arrangement, you only need one sort of spreader bar here, uh, you know, to, to get it set up. So, you know, again, if you're solo camping, you know, this, this could be a very good option because, you know, it doesn't need that many resources, it's quick to set up, and, you know, you're probably going to be sitting in the same place. If you're camping with a group, 
not so good because you may want to, you know, you want to move around a little bit more and take your camp chair with you. So for me, I wanted something, a camp chair that was ultra light, that was, um, you know, very compact and that didn't necessarily require natural resources to, you know, make up the frame. Now, you know, this is basically what I've come up with. It's the design that, you know, was kind of inspired by the, um, those sleeves people used for, you know, their sleeping mats and they put it in a sleeve so it forms a sort of chair shape like that. And I thought that was, you know, pretty ingenious, but I don't carry a sleeping mat because I use a hammock. So, you know, that wasn't going to work for me. But I, I basically wanted to take that concept and make something that would. And the key thing here is, you know, that more often than not, the ground is wet. So, you know, you need something or you want something that's just going to keep your bum off the, you know, the wet ground. So all I've done here is just get a like, cheap bit of tarpaulin um, and that's the seat. And what I've done here is just put some eyelets in so that, um, I don't know if you can see this, so that the edges kind of fo fo you know, naturally fold up, uh, you know, when you put it on the ground. Because, you know, quite often, if you, if you don't do that, the water, you know, can run down, um, you know, onto the tarpaulin and, uh, you know, not, not do any good at all. So, you know, that's kind of the seat, if you like. I mean, nothing, nothing, no rocket science there. And then, I had that problem again of back support and this is what I've come up with and it's basically like a hammock uh, arrangement so that's going to go around your back like that and then this loops over your knee like so and then I've just got some straps here that I can tension um, you know same thing on the other side so I've got this stretched out like so like so The reason that I, I wanted these things going over my knees is it stops it squeezing you together and then you can uh, open it up at the back and you can just sit back like this. So you've got complete back support, you know, you, you, your bum's dry because you're not directly on the wet ground, you know, and you can sit there like that very comfortably. So this is a system, you know, I really like. I'd say it was inspired by those sort of thermo rest uh, chair ideas. It's not you know, totally my idea, but you know, I like this, this is great exactly what I want. The other thing I can, the reason I've got these on extension, you know, uh, sorry, that they're adjustable is that you can also have your legs sort of straight out like that and lean back like, like so, uh, you know, and that's another way, you know, but either way it works and it does exactly what I want, which gives, my, gives me a bit of back support. So there you go. That's my version of a, you know, ultra, ultra light uh, camp chair, 170 grams, you know, as compact as, as it can be, really. So if you want to make one of these hyperlight uh, camp chairs, uh, I just got some webbing, put some foot supports in, sewed it up on the machine, uh, got an adjuster strap there, a uh, bit of paracord. And listen, the main bit here is, is basically like a, a small hammer. It's made from parachute material, uh, you know, so, so it bunches up exactly like a hammock does. Then I got, some, this is just webbing, and that just allows me to you know, to, to tension it over my, that bit goes over my knee, this bit goes around behind my back, and then, you know, same thing at the other, other end. So, you know, it's really easy to, you know, to make up, and it works, you know. I don't, I don't know how comfortable it looks in the video, but believe me, it's really comfortable. But I'm sure you've noticed the obvious design flaw in my uh, Hyperlite camera ch uh, chair design, and that is that there's no place to put your beer, but, you know, that's what bamboo's for. So you can just make a little beer holder like that and you're sorted.